thoughts of Pan-Africanism are allies. I would wish to ask the members also when they go to elections that they should look, and I want to repeat this, look at people who will be able to put the face of Kenya in that parliament. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Manzo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank uh, all members in this committee who assisted me as a co-chair to, to make this report. And Mr. Speaker, my apologies to the House. I was not there, and uh, um, Senator Beatrice Ogola was very kind to move it on my behalf. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I had to go to my county having a visitor in the name of Bill Gates, who one time when in Seattle going as parliament, I visited his office, made an invitation, and luckily he came to Kenya. And therefore, I, my apologies to the House. The main issue in this particular um, report we found could be ideal for consideration in future. First of all, whatever happens to a single state happened to all member states. And secondly, uh, one time when this process was abused, by the state of Kenya, there was a court, a court case at the Eastern African Court of Justice. And I was lucky to be one of the lawyers there. And, uh, and uh, the court directed and ended up with what we have now. That's why we have to choose out of three. Instead of select, there has to be an election, Mr. Speaker. But then uh, we have to balance gender, youth, and also continuity, Mr. Speaker. One of the problems with the Kenyan election has been that we remove everybody, and then we have no uh, institutional memory in Yela. So I'll urge members while making a vote and supporting this uh, to, to, to look at that consideration so that we can have continuity in the Eastern African uh, Legislative Assembly. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Sigay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I also rise to support the report. And I, I would love, Mr. Speaker, from the very onset to indicate to the House that the East Africa Legislative Assembly has attracted a good number of people who are, I believe, all qualified. From the report, Mr. Speaker, 348 people applied, 69 were nominated, nine are required to be elected tomorrow. I believe, Mr. Speaker, this House will be capable of picking from among the list that you've been given people who are qualified who will push the agenda of Kenya in the East Africa Legislative Assembly. I urge the members from this House to do that which is objective tomorrow when it comes to voting so that we send the team on Thursday. Uh, pardon me, uh, Mr. Speaker. The election will be on Thursday, I believe. And Mr. Speaker, I was giving an indication that I urge this House to send to the East Africa Legislative Assembly but people who are qualified to advance the interest of this country. And Mr. Speaker, as I conclude on my support to the report, the committee has proposed that a framework for formal campaigns be placed in the 2017 rules for this, for this particular position. And I urge that the House, once it is done with the election process, can also formulate a process where candidates can be able to have formal processes to conduct their campaigns so that they make it easy, so that we also can get an opportunity to interrogate whatever they are seeking to go and do for us as a country in the East Africa Legislative Assembly. Mr. Speaker, I support. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support this motion. Atai Haifanyi. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to support this motion. And uh, I want uh, to urge the members to make sure that we actually uh, point or rather vote for the right candidate because uh, it is important that uh, whoever we send to East Africa, they will represent the face of the country. And there would be people who are experienced, committed with a constitutional memory whereby they would be able to move the IALA forward. Mr. Speaker, again, it's important to give opportunity to all the applicants because there should not be barriers whereby somebody, if it's connected to any political affiliation or any political uh, kingpin, for them to be denied the opportunity. It is important if somebody qualifies we are all grown-ups or they are all grown-ups. Once you are over 18, you have your own life. So people should not be denied opportunities or their dreams to be, to be shattered because simply they are connected to a certain politician. So please, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge the House to make sure they give the opportunity to everybody who deserves the opportunity to be able to, be, to, to serve in Iala, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I think with those few remarks, I support. Thank you. Senator Chirangu. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's working. Mr. Speaker, I, I rise to support this uh, uh, report, and I think in the interest of the House and many issues that have been raised. One is with a committee on ESC. I think there is a committee that concerns itself. They need to pick it up, some of these recommendations going into the future, so that we can ensure uh, the process of YALA become less tedious within the law. Mr. Speaker, finally, uh, Mr. Speaker, finally, I want to... Uh, I've had my colleagues from the minority side, as me one Kenya lands. I think he, he just left the chamber, Mr. Speaker. He is alleging that uh, uh, that members of Kenya Kwanzaa, at some point, will be given who to vote for. My question is simple: When you look at this report, which is the worst democracy and corruption, Mr. Speaker? If you can bring your own daughter to be elected to Yala. Winnie Odinga wants to be an Yala member simply because of the second name, just like Kalonzo Mushoka's son. They are here. They should stop lecturing us about democracy where they practice the worst form of democracy and, and corruption. If it comes to voting, I will not allow chronism and nepotism to go through because that is not the spirit of this republic, Mr. Speaker. When you look at the list of Kenya Kwanzaa, Mr. Speaker, it is only hustlers. People who are from bottom up that we have nominated to go to Yala to represent this country, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the one Kenya, as the one Kenya lands, to stop peddling lies to Kenyans that they are democratic.